growing genetically, acquiring new traits constantly. We've all evolved from smaller things, and evolution is always happening. It's adaptations, species are making, causing new traits in each offspring. It's Charles Darwin, I first observed it. He studied species to find how they're related, and now it's called ever evolution. No, by natural rule selection, no, and it's a chain reaction. No, new species are created by by ever evolution. No, and natural rule selection. No, and it's a chain reaction. No, new species emerge over time. All the traits that increase the survival and reproductive success of the species are passed down and inherited, causing changes in all of the phenotypes and many forces contribute to the changes in the frequencies of alleles. And we have found, 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 found that these include bias mating and gene flow. Such things cause micro evolution. No, oh, from series of mutations. Oh, and gene recombination. No, oh, all new frequencies change over time, time. Micro evolution. No, oh, from series of mutations. Oh, and gene recombination. No, oh, all new frequencies change over time, time. Listen, now each new species does not just appear. Natural selection acts on traits that already exist within the genotypic makeup of it all. The changes happen slowly, not in just one day. And in the population, not in just one way. Now as for gene flow, it brings alleles in around the population and in genetic drift. Allelic frequency changes due to random chance. All of these simple changes are what rearranges the genotypic ranges and cause the process of Ever, evolution, no, oh, with natural rule selection, no, oh, and it's a chain reaction, no, oh, new species are created by, by micro evolution, no, oh, from series of mutations, no, oh, and gene recombination, no, oh, new species emerge over time, time. Time, time.